Hi guys! We are going to show you how to create a Google Classroom page today. So, the first thing you have to do is log into your Google account and you'll see this page. Make sure you log in with your Diamond Google account. And you click on the little waffle, the nine dots, up here. And you can go to Google Classroom. If you already have some stuff set up, you'll see a bunch of classes. But if you have none, or you have one that you've joined, you'll see that here. But in order to either join or create a class, you go to this little plus sign, and it'll give you options. So we're going to create a class. Create, click on that. Then you have to enter the class name. So we're going to call this one coronavirus. The rest of this stuff is optional, so we're going to skip it for today. I do use this for my regular classes just because I have 12 classes, so to distinguish what they are. But then it takes a second to create, or a few seconds. Alright, so you can change your theme and make it pretty by hitting select theme. someone is using their chemistry skills to create a, some kind of cure for a coronavirus. <laughs> All right, so here's our, here's our page. You've created it. It was, what, three seconds, three minutes maybe? So we want to have our students join this page because without students in it, there's no point. So we, have to, we can click on that little tiny box and it will display a code. So this is our code. You can join this class too if you want. So I have two students in here um, who are going to join and show you what it looks like when students join. You guys good with this? If I want to see who's in my class, I go to people. You see I'm the teacher. And then I have two students. I can invite their guardians if I want. Um, and it will just send their, their guardians an email summary of, of what goes on in the class. They cannot see all of the other students. They can only see information for their student. And to invite your guardians, you just click on that and you send in the email. You can get the email from Aspen or if you have parent emails somewhere else. Um, but I don't think Mrs. Sims needs her guardian on here. So no. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're not going to do that. So we're going to go back to the stream page. This shows what you post in chronological order. So the newest thing you post will appear on top. If you have work due today, it'll show up here. This second tab, classwork, is where all of your classwork will exist by topic. So you can create topics and um, like shop time homework, classwork, however, whatever you want to call it, vocabulary, literature, any topics you want. And uh, then you can post your, your assignments as a topic. So we're going to create an assignment. You go to create, and you have options on what kind of assignment you create. Do you want, we want to do an assignment, a quiz, post a question, just post material. So something you don't want them to turn in, but maybe some, something that you want them to see some kind of, maybe it's a PDF of, of something you're reading or an assignment. Or reuse a post. That's one of my favorite tabs right there, reuse post, because it will come up with all of your classes that you have, including your archive class if, classes if you want, and you can reuse something that you've already posted. We're not going to do that. So we're going to create an assignment. And we're going to just title it with today's date. If I, which is 3.16, we'll call it class work. All right. Here's where you would put the instructions. I'm just going to write these complete assignment. But I, 
would be more specific if I were actually sending those to students. And then here, you press the little paper clip if you want to add something. So this is going to bring up your Google Drive, if you click on that, a link to a website. The board is very sensitive. A file, if you have something to add from your desktop. So we can't access our files when we're not in the building. So you probably won't be using this one while you're not here. But this is what it would look like. And then YouTube. So maybe you're going to send the kids a TED Talk or any kind of YouTube file. You can either copy and paste the link here and then search. It'll come up. And then you click on it and add. Or you can search right here. Either way. Let's uh, just create this assignment because I don't have, I'm not going to put an attachment on today. You can put how many points you'd like it to be worth, or you can click ungraded. We'll just pretend it's 100 points. Or Let's go into all students. What's really great about Google Classroom is if you have um, small groups working on different assignments, you can, you can do that here. So I would unclick all students and say I only wanted Mrs. Sims to do this assignment. I would click her name. But today we're going to make them both do it. So. When is it due? You click on that and you can put the due date. So it's going to be due tomorrow. And the default time is 11.59 p.m. You can change that or not. No topic. So I don't have any topics right now, but I'm going to create one. And we're going to call this one um, vocab. This is a new feature. You can add a rubric. We're not going to do that right now. And then assign. It will automatically be updated in the student's stream and on their classwork page. And so this is what it will say. Students have it set up to their email, or they should have it sent up set up for their email so they will get an email notification also. So you can click right from the stream on this assignment and it will bring you to the assignment. When the students turn in the work, it'll this number will change in real time. So you guys want to submit it? Show people because it is. If you go to your classwork page, since this is the only topic we have, it's up there first, but if you had a bunch of topics, you could just click on the topic itself and it will just bring up everything in that category, which is really helpful for the students if they're just looking for their shop time assignment. One of my five of the students turned in their work. So when I want to see what they turned in, I just go here and I see Mrs. Sims turned in her work. Oh, and now Mr. Burns also did. And then you would click on it and get their assignment. When you grade their assignment, you click on it, there's nothing attached because this is a pretend, but you would click on it and give them a grade. So you click here and you can let them know what their grade is. They both did excellent work, so they're going to get 100 for today. And now they can't see that yet because I still own it. I have to submit it back to them. So I'm going to go to return. And you can select one student to return work to, or all of them, and return. Now I'm sending it back to them. And they're going to receive their grade, and if I posted any comments, they would see that also. And that's it. Setting up an assignment. Oh, Mrs. Sims sent us a question, or a comment. I posted a group question for the class. Can you please answer? So we're going to go to the class itself. I have a question. How can I get help? That's a good question. So you can get, you can get help by sending me a, a private message, by posting a question here, or you can go to the Google help page. Um, but let's go back to our stream.
Your question will also come here. I can click on there and I can answer her, however, whatever I want to say, and send it to her. If it's a private comment, only we can see, only the student and I can see that comment. So this is where I would post something like, you forgot to do part of your assignment, can you please submit it? Or your assignment is late, can you please submit it? Or see me after class, your assignment needs more work, or whatever. Um, only, that is only to be seen between the student and the teacher. If you post a question, like Mrs. Sims posted a question on the whole page, the whole class can see it. So maybe she said, I forget what page we're working on. Any student can answer that first question, which is really cool. Because if I'm not standing by my computer, the student can say, oh, I can help you. It's page 300. And that's, is that all you meant by that? Yes. Okay. Just in case. Okay. Mr. Burns, any questions for you? No, ma'am. Do you think I covered everything? I think you're good. Okay. If you do have questions, you can email me at tcollins at diamondregional.org or Amanda at asims at diamondregional.org and we can help you. And there are other people in the building who know Blue Classroom too, so you'd rather reach out to them. You can do that.